Taurus, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I am going to do your reading. Um, it is a love reading. Uh, Taurus, it is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Maybe you're born on the cusp. If you simply want to be here to pick up on the Taurus energy, you're welcome. Uh, check out other signs in your chart as well for additional messages. Uh, this reading is for the end of October. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate your time, your energy, your support, your love. I'm sending so much love back to you. If you didn't like already, please, please, if I can speak, please <laughs> press the like button, share the video, leave a comment as well. All right, so I'm ready to do your reading. I'm going to look into a person that is showing up in your energy, their feelings, their intentions your feelings, intentions, the likely outcome. And I will also download some general messages about your current surroundings. Taurus, I think we are ready to go. Eight of Cups. The challenge could be that not knowing whether to completely close a chapter or if it's worth waiting, it's curiosity have someone gone forever? Someone is thinking about you this way. This person is reflecting. They feel that, oh, there was investment emotionally. You also feel that you spent time together, you invested in each other, but is it really time to, to move away? Someone is, is gaining perspective here. Okay, I'm going to this time around, just pull out all the cards. I feel this is going to be this way. Okay, yeah. Hmm, okay. We have, yeah, I'm, I'm right about that. I feel here there is this, is this over? Is these dreams, were they just dreams? Was this an illusion? Was this love? It's a reversing a tower moment. But I'm going to dive into the person that is showing up. So they might have Pisces, Libra in their chart, I'm getting at first. Memories were established and the two of you were very close um, at some point. You felt that, wow, I met the one, it was exciting, it's, you felt like uh, your inner child was brought out, they felt the same. Um, you, you might go a long way back, even when you met, you felt that you had met before, you know this person, something very comfortable uh, being in each other's presence, it, that it's been like that from day one. but. They didn't take the, net, the the right action. I feel like this person, they, they didn't open up uh, when they had a possibility. And um, I feel they, some of them have, might have number six in their chart. Um, they feel very like stuck where they are and waiting for someone to come and rescue them. <laughs> um, I feel like they are very stuck and they are taking on burdens that aren't their own. This person could keep their feelings secret. Maybe it's a secret admirer for now. If this is someone from your past, you might not even think of this person like that they will come back or anything, but uh, you are certainly on their mind, uh, Taurus. That's, that's for sure. I'm getting that here. Um, what is going on? for Taurus. Okay, what's going on? The Two of Wands and the Knight of Swords underlying messages. I feel here that, okay, only now they know, they have proof that they shouldn't have stayed where they were. It was a sign when they met you that they should have fled <laughs> the where they were at basically it nothing happened there it's as if they had wasted a lot of time a lot of time had passed and nothing's happened it's almost like they've stayed in a city a town that's standing still when it comes to their experience what they can get from it basically 
And um, yeah, now it's time to, to go, but it's been time to go a very, very long time ago. And they just haven't done anything about it. Sorry, uh, Taurus, I had to uh, fix something here. So, right, this person, you know, it's something about just drifting, <laughs> just not taking action. Again, they could be a secret admirer or you lost touch and they haven't forgotten about you, Taurus. They really want to reach out. But at the same time, they are, um, yeah, they are defensive. At the same time, they are shy. At the same time, they find uh, something awkward as well. They, are, they want to find out if you are with someone else. They want to find out, uh, you know, what you are up to. So driving past your house, um, looking you up, uh, wherever they can look you up, trying to find out information but they are taking action. Anything else here for the person that is showing up in Taurus reading? This person is carrying a lot of burdens. They could be carrying a lot on their own. Um, They're not getting help with. You might be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You have a telepathic connection with this person. They feel this isn't over or they feel that they should you know, uh, release these burdens and reveal the truth, reveal to you uh, their feelings. But this person, they're scared. Um, yeah, they're, there's delays. You are someone that they really desire and wish for. But this person isn't very romantic or they are romantic, but they find it very difficult to... Well, they could think romantic thoughts and you bring out the inner child in them, but they don't really know how to express it in words and actions. It's separated. Uh, you might be dealing with an Aries, Leo. This could be, again, a twin flame connection. And um, something is changing. They are mustering up the courage. They are but it's been taken forever, waiting for all the planets to align kind of thing. But twin flame unions, they are, you know, not, it's not facts. You cannot really uh, pursue twin flame union uh, like you do with other connections that you can plan, 3D connections, relationships, they can follow a plan basically. But not a twin flame connection. It has to do with the journey. So, um, yeah, please check out the twin flame reading that I posted uh, yesterday. So for you, Taurus, what's happening here? Because these cards are in reverse. It says here that your intention is to move on from a dysfunctional relationship that wasn't what, you know, what you were dreaming about. It wasn't meeting your desires and wishes and, you know, the, the future that you, you hoped for. So you could be moving out of that zone. You're saying, okay, I did spend time here, but it didn't work out. I tried to get things uh, to calm shores, but I'm moving away. Uh, everything here is in reverse. It's like hanging, <laughs> standing still in a way, <laughs> hanging in thin air. So yeah, it's kind of a, a weird... Um, vibe around it. Um, we have the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So you are self-made. You, you have, you're abundant on your own. You are happy on your own. You have spent a lot of time in solitude as well. And many of you have decided that, well, I don't want a relationship even. I have tried I've been with someone that was very special to me, but right now I, I just want to be on my own. I will find what I enjoy in life and I will go with that. I will make the most out of that. You might be seeing synchronicities at this time. For some of you, and this came up in the Twin Flame reading, it is that this Twin Flame journey, it, have, it has led you, led you to 
She can't speak uh, at all today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I really can't speak, my goodness. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why, uh, what Spirit is trying to tell me. I'm not tired. I have my coffee. Um, sometimes, like, it, it just happens. Anyhow, uh, I will continue. Um, but it has led you to the one. It has led you to, again, the Ten of Cups upright. It's led you to the truth. So I feel here what's happened is that perhaps, Taurus, you've held on to what was or what you thought were your wish fulfillment. And because you held on to it or someone held on to you, perhaps trying to save a relationship that is a 3D relationship and it didn't work, it didn't, it fell through. And then feeling like, well, I've tried everything. If this didn't work, it didn't work. I certainly do not want to move into another relationship. Or I certainly do not want to try again. But it's saying here that a relationship isn't over. It's not the end of a relationship. It's the beginning of a relationship or beginning of a union. Or it's getting like a new life here, I feel because you have a relationship coming in, their intentions is to, to be with you with a Ten of Cups, indeed. And we have again underneath the deck. So could this be a twin flame connection that seemed so real at some point, but then it fizzled out to, oh, this could never work. This was a fantasy. This wasn't real. This could never be real because there were fear. There, you looked at the twin flame connection like you do with a 3D relationship. So basically saying, oh, distance is in the way. Uh, we are not communicating. Um, they, they don't have the job or the finances that I want someone to have. So therefore, no, it cannot work. Maybe we speak different language. These factors came up and... So therefore, you wrote it off, they wrote it off. But it's not written off in, in the universe between you, the subconscious, the, you know, what brings the twin flame connection together. That's not written off at all. And that's what's coming back around. So you tell me, Taurus, I don't know what happened here, but uh, phew, I know that in uh, if these, <laughs> these cards here, come up I mean it's definitely a, definitely good news when it comes to your love life uh, for sure it's uh, you know powerful force here uh, it's like homecoming and also ancestry because of the the ten of Pentacles you, this person and you are someone that will you know it's um you have the same roots in a way. Even if you are very different, you have the same roots. You have the same, like in your past life, there's an agreement with, you know, what roots you have. So it's, uh, you, you have crossed paths even without knowing it. So if this is a new person, you have crossed paths. But fate here has brought you together. I mean, you know, with the with the ten of um, ten of cups, it's a family, happiness, making you feel very complete, winning in love. So it's basically finding a true contentment, so in your personal life as well. And it can also be you. It's like you you can have all this on your own as well. Um, you're taking advantage as well of a positive energy. You are reaching out to someone special, reminding them how special they are to you. It's long-term commitment in, and also in the fi final outcome here. It's also about communicating openly. Basically also uh, talking about outside influences that might have caused problems as well here. So again, that could be... Um, so yeah, I do see yeah, some really, really good developments here for you in love. Um, and this relationship is coming together. 
I feel that you and this person you met either through work or online dating or a community event it it was meant to be i mean it is um it's kind of a a very strange um place that you met as well but you realize that it doesn't matter how Okay, time, distance, and place, how it came about. Could be someone that was right under your nose all along. And for whatever reason, it didn't work out, but it's working out now. You could have been dealing with someone. Again, they could be right under your nose, but you're like, no, I, I'm spending time in solitude. I'm, you're grieving something here. But this is about homecoming. This is about the truth. So for most of you Taurus, it says here, like um, it cannot probably also be a challenge for fixed signs. So this isn't about um, force. <laughs> this isn't about forcing to fit in with someone that is already in your history. This isn't about that. This has to do with uh, being honest to yourself what it is that you want versus saying, okay, um, how can I say, if something happened with you and this person in the past, there was a tower moment, it went downhill and so on, but that, let's say it's in a, it, it's a long time ago and the time, the next time you see them, there isn't like you have strong feelings for them, but because of what ha the history happened in the past, you are like, no, I want to be with this person, but I can't be with this person. So it's saying here, if it is more of your, um, you know, your your sort of opinion or let's say your, your morals or wh whatever it is, it's like saying here that you will find that wisdom, you find that wisdom uh, within you and, and release the reason for holding back in a, in a situation. If it is to do with, for example, I mean, this is an, completely new person but you've had the ex you're saying well I've had the experience of marriage and living together I've had that I will not do it so again and we all have um, our own ideas about it but very often our own ideas is because of fear and our own traumas like let's say me for example I've always said oh I will never have children because I have to uh, how I, I will not have a child unless I'm with the, the father that loves me and their child and that's it. So, you know, that's because I am from a family with divorced uh, parents. But again, if I really, I never really maybe wanted children, but if I sacrificed having a child based on my really, really strong ideas, then I could lose out if, the, if I really wanted a child. In my case, you know, not so much. So what the, it's saying here, it is that if you, Taurus, you know that you really wanted this relationship, you want the relationship, but you've had such painful experience in the past that this doesn't, it's, you have made up your mind and that's it, but you get this offered, it's here, it's here now, like that happiness is here now, it's not coming in the exact same form as you thought it would, but... I, I do see you are open to it, um, for sure. I mean, really positive cards here, um, at Taurus. It's a chain of events happening and you are on board with it. It's not, oh, let me think about it for six months and come back to you. It's, it's, um, it's something that is happening first. It's happening kind of with this telepathic messages. It's kind of like the, the timing of it all, the timing of the events that are about to unfold for you Taurus it's the right timing and this person um Taurus they are coming to give you everything you you want or you know you are all they ever wanted you are um you know their happiness And I'm getting here, you have a lot more in common than what you imagined. You haven't really been close to this person in this way. But yeah, now getting this, um, I feel this was a dream that was crushed. I feel this person is not someone you have been in a relationship with, but I feel for some of you, this person could come into your life 
as you are going through uh, an ending of a relationship. So it doesn't make sense. That's for you. It's like, okay, this is too soon, but it's, it's happening. Let's see what else is here. Someone is very curious about you. They're wondering where you are. Um, yeah, Taurus, <laughs> they are wondering where you are, where you are at. Yeah. The wheel of fortune, destined moment, the 10 of cups, the nine of cups, the two of wands, the eight of wands and the hierophant. Yes, you, uh, you are each other's happiness. Like, as soon as there is some, any kind of contact, it's like, oh, okay, this is where I want to go. This is where I definitely want to go. The signs and synchronicities could be kicking off right, left and center here for you, Taurus. For many of you as well, you are in a good situation financially with your career. Many of you could have accomplished careers. So you feel very much accomplished. You feel very much that, okay, if I add love into my life, it will be different than in the past, but it will be, it still will be worthwhile. It will be worthwhile here by, by saying yes to it. I want the experience. It's going to be an addition to my life that is it's positive, <laughs> a positive experience. It's, it's no longer for you, perhaps in a different relationship, in a different time, or if this is a past life, in that time when you were together, at that time, you would have had a different relationship because you wanted different things. And maybe, you know, the experience of a relationship, whatever the context is, it would have been different. You have been separated from this person. A message, unexpected out. Uh, outcome, income, yeah, <laughs> an outcome, trust, this uh, is requiring to have faith, distant horizon, a child, so yeah, I, I feel here, this is, it's very much a chain of events that are happening with your intentions, your intentions here is to I'm going to work on myself, work on my business. I'm looking for opportunities. Many of you could be in a transition there as well. And you might be saying relationship, the, the context that I once knew it, that's not on the radar. My feelings is, however, that I am open to this happiness. But it has to be with someone that is it's speaking the truth. I don't get any toxic cards in this reading. So if you are in a situation where it's a, you feel have different feelings to it, right? Where it's more a lot of swords and thinking and stress and maybe the devil's here, maybe it's a bit of obsession, then it wouldn't be your reading. Uh, I'm not saying you're going to search for reading with that, but this reading here doesn't have that. If this is someone that you've had a bad experience with or they've hurt you, it's, it would be a very long time ago. It would be like 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 6 years ago. A lot of time has passed. It's like you're two completely different people. That sort of um, that sort of vibe here, but for most of you here, it feels just like you are. Your feelings is that oh, you know, I I have a breakthrough here in my life, and I feel that okay, maybe the idea of love here, I'll play with the idea. So the actual that experience for you is positive, uh, Taurus. It feels very positive because also here with the Eight of Cups, you are you are leaving behind there any kind of love and relationships that you, it's like it's also a nice card it is that okay well every every encounter you have with someone that you've experienced it has a story to it and now you feel that okay the story it doesn't have to be the story for you know every eight story every, for eight stories <laughs> again i can't speak today i did warn you so it's you're moving forward and you feel different about how you will pursue love at this time. That's what's happening first and foremost. Some of you could have one child. Uh, I'm getting here as well. Uh, yeah, well, I see this person. They're very fickle. Uh, maybe that's why I'm stuttering <laughs> so much. They struggle to speak or they struggle to find the right time here to take action. Oh, there is a fly here. 
gosh they are really annoying me <laughs> i think it's because it's so warm uh compared to you know what it should be so i never have twice but that's the autumn i guess um so okay anything else there before i wrap up the reading for taurus oh my god okay anything else not that many card spirits what is going on here yeah the ten of cups so wow yeah you do want what this person is offering you want to take a look at it you do they haven't got i mean they're not moving about like someone else would like if you told your friends about it they're like you, you might even like they might even say oh does this person even have feelings what do they do they're very silent uh, you know that they understand you you understand them they're very intellectual but they're not at all romantic they are, they are a romantic in their way, but they are not the person that will dish out, chat up lines or have big words in, in, in the sense of maybe stereotypical situations. But they are romantic. They feel love. They, they do love you. They come towards you here, but I just see they're intellectual, but not romantic. But they could be a leader or they're taking charge. They're very direct. So to overcome their unfair, it seems like they can be sort of a bit dry, a bit direct, but their intentions is the 10 of, um, <laughs> yeah, their intentions is the 10 of uh, cups here, the empress. There is mutual trust between you two, affection. I do see this is a, union that will form a unex an unexpected turnaround when it comes to the actual setup of the relationship like you would never in a million years imagine living with this person and actually thriving and actually creating a new world with them you would never imagine that you might even say no as you speak but and they will say no as well because it's something about you both had your experience. This could be unconventional from the kind of initial point of contact. It could seem like bizarre because it's something about you are so different, but it actually will turn out very, very positive. Uh, so it's saying here to, you know, don't uh, judge it, uh, the book by its cover for sure. And it feels like um, Taurus, it's, it's because of the place that you're in. It is because um, you are in that place. I'm going to take this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Small place. <laughs> ah. So it's, it's happening. You are giving this a chance to get to know this person. Again, for many of you, it is a new person or someone you haven't seen for a long time or someone you feel you've had a past life relationship with and you, it feels like you know, know them. But the reason why you are proceeding is because you have taken a lot of time here to seek the truth within and find out what really makes you happy. So because when you finally know what makes you happy, then you also know what else can also make you happy. Not that, oh, someone will come into my life and because they come into my life, then I'm happy. If they're not there, I'm not happy. So because you are finding that place, Taurus, where you feel happy with your life and know that with or without someone, I know what ingredients fills up my day that makes me happy and content in my life. So therefore, it doesn't hurt me to be open to this person. And because of that, Taurus, it seems that this experience for you will be very positive. And I see that you are also making this person more secure and calm. Again, they are nervous. They are fickle, for sure. I'm getting um, that this person have both fire elements, maybe Aries, Aries and Libra, I'm getting, so, but it doesn't have to be. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Taurus, <laughs> so please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful Sunday.